Okay, so today uh, we'll be talking about the listening section. Uh, it's one of the sections of the IELTS. Uh, like you know already, IELTS has four sections. Uh, for those that are new to it, IELTS has four sections which will test her for communicative skills of the English language. But a listening section comes first, or uh, most cases, and you're expected to listen to an audio. The audio Approximately, you were playing for 30 minutes and you are only allowed to listen to each words and you can take notes on the question booklet. You have about 10 minutes to transfer your answers once you are done uh, writing out your responses on the question booklet. The listening section has four parts. The conversation is the first part of the listening section. Here, you will listen to a man and a woman discussing about a general topic. It could be about traveling, accommodation, admission, housing. It all depends. Uh, naturally, afterwards, uh, in the conversation, then you have about 10 questions to answer. A second section or part of the listening is the narrative. Most cases could be referred to as a monologue. This is where you hear a man or a woman uh, talking about a trip, a tour, or probably a direction. Here you could have a talk about how a excursion can be made or a trip to a museum or a mansion. Here you need to follow the trend of the questions. Most past question you have for the eye house in this category. You get a lot of liberal flowchart questions in this second section. Here you will be treating question 11 down to 20. It is believed that as the IELTS parts and the listening goes higher, the audio gets tougher. So it is good that you answer questions correctly in the first two sections. In addition, the third section is the group chart. The group chart requires you to listen to a group of people, minimum two people, maximum three or four people, with a moderator, though talking about an academic or formal topic. Your job will be to take down all necessary key details as they speak. You would not be allowed to listen to the talk again, so it's better you pay attention to everything you get to hear by connecting the audio to the key words. Key words are words that come before or after the blanks you are expected to fill out. When a keyword comes before a blank, it is called a pre-keyword. But when the keyword comes after the blank, it is known as a post-keyword. I would encourage you to practice a lot with questions and try as much as possible to identify the moderator of a group chat audio. The group chat audio covers question from 21 to 30, and here you may be having a short break in between the question series. Finally, we have the lecture as the fourth part of the listening section. On the lecture, you definitely hear a topic that is academic or formal in nature. A male or a female might be given the lecture. It is worthy to note that in the lecture there are no breaks, so you likely may get to hear a talk from the very beginning to the end. I encourage you, as you listen to the lecture, after the first three statements from the lecture or the speaker, you try as much as possible to get the key idea of what the lecture is all about. In a way, it is trying to develop a cover statement for your lecture. This will serve as a guide to understanding what the lecture is all about. Now, quickly, let's take a rundown on the parts of the lecture. So, obviously, you will be listening to a conversation and that covers question 1 down to 10. The second part of the left of listening section uh, is a narrative or a monologue which was said by a male or a female and that covers question 11 down to 20. The third section 
of the listening part is the group chat. Here you hear a moderator starting up a conversation between two or three people. And this covers question 21 to 30. And lastly, the lecture comes up. And the lecture is on the part that does not have a, uh, does not have encourage or probably introduce a break. So this means that the conversation, narration, group chat, and lecture, uh, a group chat all her uh, breaks in between them, but the lecture doesn't. You should have noted that the total question mark for their listening is 40, so you will be answering 40 questions in total. It implies that this, of the four sections, we have at least 10 questions. I encourage to keep practicing and make sure you master the question types. So, sing it again. Bye bye.